All right, uh, great, great second half for us, obviously. Uh, they, they really shot the ball well in the first half. Give them credit. Some of that on us and some of that on them. But uh, second half, our defense w was back to where it needs to be. Um, you know, I thought, obviously, on offense, we were able to get out in transition and score a bunch of uh, dunks and hit some threes um, and played pretty well in the second half to uh, to – uh, get ourselves a win. We were up 15 in the second half. So uh, good job. Again, the, the students, awesome. I don't think I gave the band a shout out yet. So I got to give the band and cheer a shout out too, because they're, they're, they, they bring a lot of energy too. I thought in the second half, they're standing and making teams, guys miss free throws, which is great. Um, we're helping with that. So shout out to them and uh, great to get another win and, and continue to, uh, to progress in the season. Um, I mean, I've always kind of expe <clears throat> expected myself to play like this, and now um, I'm just playing up to my expectations, in my opinion. Um, I'm not doing anything that I haven't done before, just at different places. Um, obviously, at the beginning of the season, I wasn't doing this, um, and now um, I think it's just, like, I know I say that I don't feel any different, but definitely there's a huge confidence boost um, in terms of just me knowing where I'm not supposed to be on the floor offense, offensively and defensively, and then just um, being put in spots to be athletic. And then Coach mentioned the difference in the defense in the first and second half. What were you guys doing differently? Different? Um, so initially in the first half, um, I was showing on the screens, and they were just throwing it back to him. He was hitting threes. So in the second half, we switched and put uh, Myron or Vaughn um, on him. So they were allowed to white or um, – or blue. I'm not sure you guys know what that means, but um, different defensive coverages. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and we neutralized it, and I was playing great help off of um, off the four man because um, he lined up at the five, um, and we just found a way to play better than him. And then obviously you haven't been a part of the Ken Akron rivalry, but you've been a part of other rivalries. Yeah. What is maybe the more motivation that goes into games that just mean a little bit more personally? Um. In all honesty, it's more of just like you just know you're a little bit more focused than you are for other games. Not that you take this game more seriously than you take other games, but um, just a different vibe in practice. Um, obviously, coach is going to be a little bit more hard on the details. And, um, you know, we just got to play to, play to how we know we're supposed to play. Um, and, yeah. Um, GL, um, your first half performance, you didn't miss a single shot. Just what were you seeing out there offensively in the first half? Uh, the rim. <laughs> no, I, I, I was just uh, open, uh, you know, um, on all my shots, uh, basically, uh, you know, Malik and Sin, they always do a great job of fighting me. Um, I think Myron was the first one that hit me on my first three, and then uh, Chris set a good screen on one of my pull-ups. So just everybody uh, making the job easier for me and me just uh, be ready to shoot when I'm open. Uh, that's what the coach wants me to do, and that's what my teammates want me to do. And then what did it mean for you to have a performance like this on International Day as well? Oh, uh, it was great. <laughs> it was great. I was uh, I was wearing my shirt, wearing my jacket, you know, uh, always representing back home. And, you know, it means a lot to me. So, you know, definitely a special game. And then just going back to the Ken Akron rivalry, you've been a part of it. What can you really expect, especially after the way last season and the last game you guys have had against us? Uh, just about you always expect on a rivalry game, just high intensity, uh, you know, attention to detail, and just two teams playing hard. Chris, I know tonight, Dunk City, absolutely amazing. The crowd was loving it. I know we were too. Um, this is your first season of Cavs. So can you just talk about the connection that you've managed for since your carry that you guys have made so many of those phenomenal dunks? Um, to kind of uh, piggyback off what I said last time, um, I mean, he's the best point guard I've ever played with. So he just makes it easier for me. Um, me and him had a conversation um, <clears throat> on the floor last game. And ever since then, it's just kind of been like, if he doesn't make the play, I know I got to make it. You know what I mean? If he puts the ball in the room, I know I got to play above the rim, tip dunk it, uh, rebound it, or hit it out if I can't grab it. And um, I mean, he just makes the game easy for me. And then, I mean, I just kind of jump and do the rest, you know? Yeah. Thank you. All right, fellas. Good right. job. See you, coach. Yeah, and then really just what was Center able to have success in the first half there? Almost, I mean, making just about everything we were putting up.
They had nine for 14 from three, uh, 17 for 32 overall. Um, you know, there were some things that we were late on defensively, but, you know, you also have to make shots when, when you're open and, and Harding, he was five for five at halftime. Um, you know, everything he, he shot went in um, and we didn't do a great job guarding him. So combination of both, you know, our, our defense not being where it needed to be and, um, and give them credit, him and, and their whole team credit for how they played. I thought they offensively rebounded the, the ball well in the first half. Um, you know, they, they were more con sort of connected, I guess is what I'd say, in the first half. In the second half, you know, things changed and, and we played the way we're capable of playing, especially on the defensive side of the ball, and that made a big difference for us. Is that able to maybe motivate the players a little bit more when these when defensive assignments really aren't work, working all that well, maybe? And then in the second half, you got there, and it looks like the, the regular Penn State defense was getting a little bit of that. Yeah, I, I, I just think, you know, we got to make sure we play consistently. That, that's been our calling card, is on the defensive side of the ball. And, um, you know, the last uh, six minutes against Buffalo, we didn't do a great job. First half of this game, we didn't do a great job. Second half, there's a lot to build off of for how we played in the second half. And, um, you know, that's what we need to do moving forward. We just have to defend at a high level, compete for each other, um, you know, continue to try to create turnovers, which, you know, again, we, we need to be better in that area. We weren't great again tonight, but need to be better in that area moving forward. But, um, you know, it's good to get a win and come from behind. We, we were in a similar situation a week ago where we didn't play great in the first half and then it snowballed and we didn't play well in the second half and lost the game. Tonight, we didn't play well in the first half. You know, the second half, we played to our ability. Um, we were able to speed them up and, and have them force some shots. So that, that was growth and that was good to see. And I think that that's really the, the thing we try to get out of this game is okay, we didn't play a good half, but we were able to, to turn things around in the second half and play the way we need to. And the importance of the paint getting to the line, was that something where as an area of focus tonight? Yeah, I think every game, you know, we have to be physical around the rim. We got to make sure that we're getting to the free throw line, being strong at, with the ball. Um, you know, I thought we did a good job with that. Obviously, we didn't make, a, a, you know, we didn't shoot a great percentage from the free throw line the way we're capable of, but, um, you know, just competing hard and, and knowing that we have to play physically uh, around the basket is important. So, um, you know, we did get to the line a, a, a really good number of times. So that's a positive. And then maybe could you just talk on Chris Tate and what you've seen from him over the season and the growth that he's made, especially over the last few games? Yeah, you know, the, the, the biggest compliment I'd, I'd make to him is that early in the year when things weren't going well for him, and things were going really well for Claron. He was an unbelievable teammate at all times. So, um, you know, when, when you have that mindset uh, and then you get an opportunity and you start to see some things go well, um, you know, he deserves to play well because even when things weren't going well for him individually, he was a, he was a great teammate and uh, w was always positive and always trying to get better. Um, and you know what, uh, over the last, you know, few weeks, he's been, you know, progressively getting better and better, which is great to see for him and it's great for our team. Um, but I think the biggest compliment I'd give to him is forget about how he's playing, is just how he's handled. You know, he was, uh, he was an All-American in junior college, went to Pitt and barely played. I don't think he played much at all. And early in the year here, he wasn't playing much at all. But kept, you know, each day practicing hard and, um, you know, and having a great mindset and being a great teammate to everybody. There was nobody on the roster that he hasn't been a great teammate to. Uh, so now to see him have success, I, I would assume that his teammates are really happy for him. And obviously it helps our team. Yeah, this, this they're all big games. You know, we're 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 eight and one now in league. So, whether we win on Friday or lose on Friday, you know, there's a lot of basketball ahead of us. Um, we have nine more regular season games, and, and you know, I'm sure. Um, you know, I don't I don't know what it'll come down to at, at the end of the day, but um, we just have to worry about the basketball game and try to play as well as we can. 
Friday night. Um, they have a, a really good team, and you know they they beat us last year in the conference championship with with a number of the same returning guys. So uh, they're going to play with a lot of confidence. Um, you know we have a lot of the same returning guys as well that that lost that game that were disappointed after beating them twice in the regular season. So uh, I, I know that it'll be a great, you know, a great game. And, and to me, it's great for the fans of both schools because, um, because the games are so meaningful. Um, so in the game, you had uh, six players with double-digit points. Um, it seems like everyone's moving the ball. You have 13 team assists. You know, just describe how the team is playing as a whole together. Not, you mentioned the team not being selfish. Is that kind of like the mindset of the whole team right now? Yeah, we've done well. You know, our assist to turnover rate the last number of games have been really pos- It's been really good for us, um, limiting our turnovers. Um, you know, we have a lot of good offensive players. Jalen's been really consistent coming off the bench offensively. He's given us a great spark. Uh, you know, Vaughn's physicality uh, is something that we need, and and he's been you know really good. Um, and, and yeah, it's it's good when you have multiple guys that can score. So Sin obviously gets the vast majority of the attention from the other team, Malik as well. Um, but to see Myron come in in the second half after not playing great in the first half and make some big plays on both ends of the floor is great. Um, you know, and that's what we need. We need everybody contributing and being a part of it. Yeah. What he brings to that team and that energy. Yeah, he's been, you know, his his energy is infectious on the group. Um, and again, the way he's playing right now, you know, with the block shots and offensive rebounds and, and dunks and um, tipping balls alive, he, he's really helped our team a great deal. So uh, it's great to see. You know, it's great for him. It's great for our team. And again, I, I think he's a guy that, uh, it's hard not to root for as a teammate because he's been such a good teammate to all these guys. So, um, you know, there's tangible and 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 intangible, and he he's he's providing both. And you mentioned earlier that turnover margin, but to play a complete game and only turn the ball over two times, which five times. Or, yeah, five times. Yeah. Um, you know, what's that like? You know, especially you know when you're playing a good team that's yeah. allowing the fewest points per game. Uh, meaning on Friday? Yeah. Yeah. They, listen, it's going to be a. It's going to be tough. Points are going to be tough for us to come by. We got to make sure we value every possession uh, on Friday. It's a good team, and uh, we'll we'll have our game plan in, and you know try to get ourselves ready for for what's going to be a really tough game. No, no. I think the biggest thing on offense was just moving the basketball. We did a good job offensively. In the first half, too, um, we didn't make our free throws. But the the biggest thing was trying to adjust offensively. And, you know, we weren't perfect, but we, we did a much better job. Harding only shot one three in the second half. Um, you know, as a team, they were one for 11. They had some that, that were good looks that, you know, they just missed that in the first half they made. But him in particular, he only got one three off. And, you know, there's some rotations when it's a big guy, a five man. Um, that can shoot like that. Sometimes it creates some some matchup issues for us, for anybody. Um, so we tried to make an adjustment there, and and you know Chris described it. We have colors for how we defend different things. So so that that's 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 the changes that we made and some personnel stuff. What do you want to say to encourage that student to come out for the wagon wheel game? Oh, uh, you know what? It's a great listen. That's a great uh, it's a great game and a lot of fun for for who was ever at the game. So. Uh, I, for whatever students are able to be there and uh, have the correct blue and gold on, that'll be, uh, that'll be great. Any other questions? Okay, thanks.